Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I am going to talk about life at PepsiCo India. Yes, it was a pleasant experience. So I was associated with uh, PepsiCo India Frito-Lay division, uh, Calcutta, um, uh, for a two months uh, internship stint. It was a paid internship and uh, uh, it was the first time that they came to our college, Jadhapur University, during my B.Tech stint. This was year 2018 and uh, I was selected. I was the only intern um, uh, that uh, was selected from chemical engineering. Only two interns were selected from entire Jadhapur University. And it was the highest paid internship for chemical engineering that year as well. Uh, 34,000 was the stipend that they paid back in 2018. I'm talking about uh, 2018 summers. I, I did a paid internship for two months, so 34,000 per month so 68,000 and fortunately uh, talking about the location I got uh, uh, the location of West Bengal uh, the, the plant was in uh, Dulagod uh, Dulagod there is a Frito-Lay division of PepsiCo India it's a beautiful uh, small production unit and you would be surprised to know and uh, I'm going to break this out to you uh, it is a production facility which uh, you know suffices or caters to the entire eastern zone of India in terms of Lay's Kurkure, uh, Cheetos and Doritos. So they have basically six lines, six production lines, which is a completely streamlined process of uh, chips production. So I was in the chips production unit and you wouldn't believe it was a mesmerizing experience for me because this was the first time that I had a real time exposure of solving a plant's problem and this was the first time I was really going on the field like I had gone on the field with Haldia Petrochemicals I was there associated with the manufacturing unit so I had seen the manufacturing units inside out but this was probably the first time that I was working uh, hands-on and most importantly it was such an um, uh, such a beautiful beautiful experience the life there the people there the culture there uh, excellent in the sense that uh, you get to learn a lot of things and you get to see a process, you know, you just wonder how a, such a small production unit with seven lines, simple manufacturing lines, production lines can produce tons and tons of chips because Lay's is sold like hotcakes in, in the eastern part of India and catering to the entire eastern part of India and some part of central India as well because they have only three units, PepsiCo India in terms of chips production. Uh, uh, let me tell you that they produce Lay's, uh, Cheetos, uh, Kurkure and uh, uh, Doritos. So uh, uh, Lay's is the potato chips part which is basically fried and uh, uh, BCP or baked Cheetos products, Cheetos or something like that is the baked part that, that is not fried. Similarly for uh, Kurkure as well, uh, it is basically baked product. So uh, for our unit, they used to have two lines of uh, uh, Lay's, uh, they used to call it uh, PC potato chips lines uh, so uh, lays two lines and two lines for kurkure one line for doritos and one line for uh, baked cheetos product and these are seven production line catering to the entire eastern india because they used to have only three units one in punjab one in pune and one in calcutta um, uh, west bengal so uh, first of all let me talk about uh, the the uh, the transportation or travel plan of it so a typical day at pepsico india would begin with me going to excite uh, uh, calcutta excite more it's a popular uh, place from where you catch bus buses to far distant locations just like esplanet uh, so uh, when i used to uh, go to excite in the morning around eight o'clock uh, 7.30 to 8 o'clock a bus would come and pick us from there so there used to be a traveler bus which used to go through different routes and they used to pick people from those routes and to the location they went uh, the unit didn't have much of the people yes uh, shop floor contractual laborers were uh, many but on a planning scale or on a bird's eye view level on the managerial level there were very less people and they were mostly cooperative yes definitely you will have to make your way through it's not going to be an easy entry uh, because they hire and that's why they hire very few in number and they hire only the cream uh, in 2018 they hired 13 from all over India and they gave some four people a PPI and some two or three people maybe a PPO uh, unfortunately I didn't convert a PPI uh, but I was uh, uh, among the 13 and I had a beautiful stint of two months there uh, where I was working in the supply chain uh, basically uh, in the biomethane plant uh, an exit unit of supply chain basically effluent treatment plant so waste management and energy conservation so they used to have this 
potato washing uh, regularly in the PC unit because you when you slice the potatoes you basically wash it with water and all that starch water you know would come to effluent treatment plant and then from there it would come to a biomethane plant because it would have a lot of carbon content in it and also rotten potatoes so rotten potatoes uh, which are taken from the agri department which couldn't be uh, sent to the production unit these products basically come to the biomethane plant and thereafter we uh, do a anaerobic digestion on the process to extract basically the carbon uh, the you utilize the carbon content to produce methane and further uh, burn it to produce co2 in a cng engine and basically generate electricity out of it so the plant was self-sustaining and it was basically working on a zld process zero liquid discharge process because of which they used to streamline their entire process such that they use the liquid inside the chamber only and i had an exposure throughout the unit i used to go to the production unit because i had two projects one was with the biomethane plant to Im improve its efficiency to plan and design certain systems and to improve its efficiency within uh, the current framework only uh, optimizing the operations basically it was a very interesting project because it involved a lot of predictive maintenance tools and a lot of lean tools to remove the wastages and then a lot of design as well i basically i, I designed a thickener that can be installed to basically uh, deal a high density fluid because the biomethane had leached its capacity i'm going to discuss about it in a separate video because i don't want it to be too technical but if i talk about the culture side of it basically you would be amazed to see how a seven production lines in such a short setup produces the entire chips for the eastern region you would be fascinated you would be mesmerized by seeing that the culture used to be travel and everything they will give the salary will be credited on time and it would be a different feeling altogether i specifically remember that the hr was so good that while we used to travel back you know uh, from uh, there on the bus we would uh, sometimes stop at the dhavas to have some snacks in the evening as well so the culture there is excellent you can have chips you can have cold drinks anytime you want to basically they are kept in the conference rooms and on the production unit and a lot of chips goes out for testing quality testing on a regular basis so the chips are basically taken out and then you can have it i got a exposure a lot of exposure and i made some good relations in the lab of uh, pepsico india as well i saw that they used to do some seven to nine testings on the oil that is used to fry the potato chips so that is the kind of quality precision that they used to keep and in the sense that in terms of uh, 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 the protective equipments so that no hair or no you know dirt goes into the production process because it's a food process extra safety used to be taken so a coverall and then a hair net and then used, there used to be a mask you used to we used to wear that to go to the production unit so completely safe procedure we saw the incoming and outgoing trucks as well the loading of the trucks you know how they maintain such a big supply chain the warehousing facilities are such beautiful things to watch you know how do they maintain the SKUs how do they number the SKUs the stock keeping units you know in terms of PC 5 50% which means that PC lays chips 5 rupees packet and 50% discount or something like that in the sense that 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 is the SKU number that it is stacked to so overall the experience there the life there used, used to go we used to go we used to sit on the production line talk to the people try to understand the problem uh, problems the as is process where are the loopholes where are the gaps and uh, which are the basically the bottlenecks that we can basically reduce time in or reduce the waste activity so that we can maximize the production and reduce the time so that is how you we used to track the entire production process right from the washing section of the potatoes to the slicing to the frying and then uh, you know uh, when there is a seasoning so basically they are mixing the masalas and finally it comes into uh, the packing section wherein uh, nitrogen is poured in and then sealed packet goes out of the system so entire process we used to uh, track and also the ETP side where I was working on how is the biomethane getting produced step by step how is the electricity getting generated so this was basically tracking the process knowing the possibilities designing the solutions around it talking to the floor people understanding the process throughout it was very enjoyable and a lot of chips and a lot of snacks to actually have great people around a lot of facilities in terms of uh, travel um, 
communication but one thing they are very strict on the part that you know you need to do your job with diligence you cannot just sit around in the corner working in a laptop not justifying the salary that you are paid so they are very precise in that they will tell you that go on the shop floor remain on the shop floor if you want a PPI or a PPO or you want a job you have to show dedication you have to show multi skillness as well because one person is expected to do uh, chemical engineering no chemical engineering a part of mechanical engineering as well a part of lab testing a part of communication with the people so a lot of things you actually need to know because there are very few people who are handling the departments and they need to be highly expert expert uh, expert people so got a good bit of amount was lucky enough that i was placed in calcutta got a good bit of exposure because i never saw a production facility like that got good bit of tasting of chips as well transportation was completely free the ambience there was very good you know and uh, the shop floor obviously was tiring because you were around the heat and the corner with such high pps but you know got used to it because production process demands so uh, so uh, overall a great experience you can always go and work there uh, the salary is hefty and the place is also a great place to actually be in because it's pepsico india one of the biggest fmcgs of the country it's always a pleasure to work there that was my experience my part of the journey where i was i placed what did i do with my my project if you like this like it share it with your friends subscribe to our channel because we are going to share more experiences whatever organizations i have been to uh, when have i been there what have i done how was the place how were the people i'm going to share all of that in this channel so subscribe to the channel that's it for today thank you very much